Note, the following is archival information for reference only. There are currently no containment protocols in place for SCP-8900-EX. Item Number SCP-8900-EX Object Class Keter Special Containment Procedures SCP-8900 has been designated Keter due to extreme difficulty in containment. Indeed, it does not appear containable at this time. Persons and objects affected by SCP-8900 are to be quarantined and destroyed via flash incineration immediately. Flames resulting from this process are to be extinguished by vacuuming complete darkness to suppress the spread of infection. Under no circumstances are Foundation personnel to come in contact with persons or objects affected by SCP-8900. Addendum 8900-1 it has been discovered that total darkness is effective in suppressing the spread of symptoms of SCP-8900 in living subjects. Agents Harker and Miriam have been detained and are being kept for study. Description SCP-8900 is a complex perceptual phenomenon affecting the visible spectrum which seems to be spread by contact. It can be photographed using certain newly developed techniques. However, the process of photographing the anomaly seems to result in faster spread of its effect, and is considered inadvisable. SCP-8900 is currently uncontained and theoretically uncontainable. It first began to appear in the mid to late 1800s as a side effect of certain photography techniques, but was restrained only to the photographic plates themselves and did not spread. Of note is that the appearance of SCP-8900 manifestations in these photographs seems to development of photographic technology. SCP-8900 as we know it today seems to have developed in or around 1935, possibly as a result of the Corporation's experiments with integral tripack technology. Addendum 8900-2 Section available by O5 order only. Access granted. From the desk of O5-8. Gentlemen, we have failed. SCP-8900's effects have become so widespread as to be commonplace. The natural blue of the sky has been replaced with a gross and unnatural shade, and the green of the trees has been equally corrupted. SCP-8900 has brought ruin down upon the entire visible spectrum, and we have been overrun. Our attempt at creating an opposing infection has also failed. Although we were successful at restoring the natural colorization of our test subjects, the process seems to render them mute. And now a runner has arrived at my office to tell me that our little experiment has breached containment. Future agents may have to deal with it as an SCP object in its own right. We are left with only one option, gentlemen. I am activating the Foundation's final failsafe method, the Ennui Protocol. By the time this message reaches those of you cleared to receive it, Foundation resources on a global scale will have released vast amounts of compound ENUI-5, our most subtle amnesic. Worldwide, men and women who do not deserve the horror wreaked upon them will pause, confused, then resume their business, confident that this is the way that it has always been, never knowing what they have lost. Only the photographs not affected by SCP-8900's taint will remain to tell the truth. I regret this, gentlemen. I regret it deeply. It must be done. 058. Secure. Contain. Protect. Site-42 is able to continue broadcasting and move up to live-action SCP film adaptations due to the support of viewers, subscribers, and especially our patrons. Special shout-out to our Site-Director-level patron, Andre Bechert.